407. It's April. Well, mid April post star testing for me. And, well, I think it's time to do my and monthly. What's in the bag? Mostly the same clubs. But, eh, let's see. It is a lovely afternoon here in, well, Texas. And I'm not using this because it rocks back and forth. But first, my bag. I am currently using a Ping Hoofer bag from 2021. It's my dad's old bag, and I love it. Because, well, it's got all of the pouches that I need right here. All right, all right. Let's get back on topic. Let's start with <clears throat> let's start with putter wedges. Then we'll go putter wedges, hybrid three wood driver. Okay. First, the putter. Currently, I have a Tier Verde golf club hair cover on a 2020 triple track double wide Odyssey putter on the 34 and a half inch stroke club Odyssey stroke lab shaft and a sweet roll scroll crossbones. Larger pistol grip because I really, really like oversized grips on my putters. So yeah, here it is. I bought it used for $95. It's probably one of my favorite purchases for my bag. Okay, time for my wedges. Let's go, oldest to newest. We got a F grind. Titles Vokey SM5, 54 degree with a bounce loft of 14. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite ones. Probably my most used wedge. All things considered. Uh, and I got a bounce loft of 12 on my 50 degree PXG 0311 forged wedges. I don't use it as much, but when I do, it works really, really well. Then I also got a bounce loft of 12 on my PXG 0311 forged was it 54 degree yes i know 254 degrees but the bounce loft really matters for me wet weather really well like right after it rains or a few days after it rains when it's so wet drier conditions like like four days plus after it rains and yeah those are my wedges onto irons okay so my wedge set is a five what five what ah. five iron through pitching wedge of the PXG? Yes, I know most of my bags PXG. I get it. PXG is expensive. Well, some people think PXG is still really expensive. These are about a hundred dollars a club. Probably one of my favorite mid-range forgiving players distance irons. So it is five iron through pitching wedge, and the most recent addition to my golf bag. Well. Besides the bag, well, yeah, they are probably my favorite iron set outside my i500s. But yeah, that's what I'm currently using, and I've gotten a lot of amazing results out of them. Onto hybrid. Moving on from with the whole PXG theme, we're just gonna do driver three wood and hybrid at the same time because they are literally the same model, but you know, hy hybrid. Even though it has the Gen 6 head cover, it is a Gen 5 0311XF 4 hybrid with a Tensei 75 gram stiff shaft and well, it needs a clean, but then that's my hybrid. Sorry, I organize my club certain ways so it's easier for me to find. 3 wood. It has the Gen 5 head cover because this was my dad's. A 3 wood PXG. Oath 311XF with a graphite design XC6 stiff shaft. I, I, in my opinion, I don't like how long it is, just like my dad likes it, but when I swing it good, it results. Alright, sorry, something was flying by. And next is my driver, Gen 6 head cover, Gen 5 0311XF, driver, BXG, people think BXG is not that, 
it's expensive. Yes, new stuff is really expensive, but I managed to get most of my clubs on discount and or fittings for free. It is a 10 and a half degree on a Cypher project, Cypher Food 6.0, 50 gram. And it is one of my favorite drivers outside of my Titleist 913D2, which was the driver I had before this. And I hit it at the clash once and I loved it, but yeah. Also, lamekin grips, oh my gosh. All right, let's get into the stuff that I use besides my clubs. Okay, uh, onto the stuff I use besides my, you know, all my hybrids, driver, three wood, irons, wedges, putter. Uh, this is a brand new ball I have, called, it's called a Vector. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, but, well, I tried it once. Really liked it. It's definitely, whew, I could blow a lot of spin on it. Well, then there are also literal range balls. And uh, I used to play, I play these a lot on the course because I like how they how soft they are compared to you know, like a Pro V1, all things considered. Then besides, then I got, was it Titleist True Feel? These are Acura branded. These I got, I really like them, I lost one. Then I got a, a ball called a Quantex F18. Probably one of my favorites. I bought them at the 2023 Texas Golf Show last year, and I loved them ever since. And I have I'm carrying three sleeves worth of them in here. I carry a lot of golf balls. I lose a lot of golf balls. And I got well, of course, PXG. My dad bought them, and he doesn't really like them, so I use them. And all things considered, it's a really good golf ball. Lastly, I have all of the golf balls. I got the classic Kirkland Signature, which currently probably my favorite golf ball because it has a bounce of all things I like. Ooh. Now, it's the fun part. My range finder. I use a blue cheese golf range finder. It has a blue and silver case. I keep a ball marker in here. But it, this is what it looks like. It has a bunch of signs I don't want to get into, but Works really well for what I need it for. <sighs> Needs a bit of a clean, but besides that, it's a really good rangefinder. I managed to get on discount for 120, I think it's at 249, if I'm not mistaken, for its shields. Pretty great, pretty awesome. Probably my favorite rangefinder on the market. Not the best, but well, out of the few I've tried at PJ Superstore, this is my favorite. Then, ah. Valuable process with my dad's too. Like he gave it to me because he knew. Really I got sunscreen. Yes. Cool helicopter. Uh, sunscreen. Summer's coming up and it's golf season. I need that. I got a crap ton of teas in here. This is not even the one percent of them. Uh, I keep a tool in here just in case like something comes loose on one of my three. Clubs right here, or something comes with some of my friends' gloves, and I need to tighten it. Got a universal tool right here. I keep a cable in this front pocket right here. I always keep a cable in here because if my friend wears a portable charger, but forgets to bring a freaking what is it? Cable. I got him. Then I got a well pin, ball marker. If I can grab it, jeez. It is a Paldean starter. This is what? Flake Coco. It's a Flake Coco ball marker. Uh, yeah, I made it into a ball marker. Then, besides that, that, this, is probably my too useful thing in here, besides the tees, I got this. This is for, at a, the most recent Texas golf show, this, Dallas golf show, this is probably my favorite thing, because I, when I play with four people, you can decide who goes off the first tee box first, or goes off the tenth tee box first, or par threes. No contest, choosing teams. Just throw it up, spin it, land it. Boom, done. Yeah, that was my April 2024 What's in the Bag. Uh, if I, it's probably not gonna change much for a while, unless I can have three wood. Because <laughs> this one's not custom fit, this is just giving me. Uh, not PXG three wood though, I'd probably get like a tailor made three wood, like a sim three wood, stealth two three wood. Maybe a QI 3-wood. Used one at least, because those things are expensive. 
But yeah, I also got like a cheap claw brush. But yeah, besides that, that was my what's in the bag. See you guys in the next one. Peace.